I decided that I 100% absolutely needed to reread this book like I cannot stop thinking about it I just I don't know like for some reason I just feel the need to reread this book series like just the entire series and I did tell myself that if I really really wanted to I would reread it in March so now it's March and that means that I can actually reread this book and I'm so excited. I was reading this book, which I still want to read. I'm just a little bit into it, like the very beginning. But, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I need, after the month of February, reading literally like 20 books, I really just need to like chill and go back to something that I love, and that is Anti Darken. So I'm really excited to get back into the series and reread it and re-experience it with Reputation by Taylor Swift, which is literally the best album to listen to while reading this book. It's just perfect, the entire series it works for. And yes, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm excited, I'm gonna, you know, tell you guys my thoughts on the way through it. And I don't know, maybe by the end of this, if I do end up reading all three of the books, I will probably do a series review. So that's exciting. And yeah, so I'm feeling a lot better. So I feel like I'm going to get back to vlogging a little bit more. I hope you guys liked that 30 minute vlog. That was kind of fun. So yeah, um, I'm feeling a lot better. My mental space is a lot better. So yes, I am definitely ready to get back into vlogging videos, stuff like that. And let's start with this book. Already, I'm having so many feelings. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make this not spoilery so don't worry about it don't worry i'm not gonna say anything that's like i'm only i'm literally on like the fourth page don't worry about spoilers um i okay <laughs> i'm gonna like rant for like two seconds literally two seconds i'm not gonna make this too long but i in like someone's review i can't i literally can't remember who this is not a subtweet a subtweet this is in real life this is not like towards anyone because I literally don't remember who said it and I'm sure that multiple people have said it. However, people like to say that Lada and Radu's like sibling relationship is like weird and like doesn't make sense. However, oh my gosh, it's so... I love their sibling relationship because it feels like the most realistic sibling relationship that I've ever seen and like... In the very beginning, when after Radu's born and Lada's there, she's like, I think, like a little over a year older than he is. And she, I just love, like, just even like the beginning of like their relationship. And like, she kind of like takes ownership of him. Like, she's the older sister, so she's gonna like look after him. And I love it because, like, in the later parts of like this book and the series, she, I, she says something like, that he'll never she like she won't ever let anyone kill him if she's if he's gonna die it'll be by her hand and I'm just like literally that's exactly how it is to have like a little brother because I have little brothers and literally I don't want anyone messing with them however I can mess with them so I just love their sibling relationship it's just so real and so like that's exactly how it is to have a little brother so yes anyway I'm gonna get back to reading I love this book so now that I have officially finished my wrap up for the month of February, I'm going to redo some of the shelves just so I can put like King of Scars 
up on the shelf with Six of Crows and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, it's not going to be a total redo. I just have to put some books back up on the shelf. I already did the Charlotte Holmes series. And yes, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So today is Tuesday and I'm going to go get my hair cut. I also have work today, so I'm going to get my hair cut after work. And I've just been having like the weirdest beginning of March, not only just like with personal stuff, but also like reading wise, because <laughs> I feel like I just keep waiting for a question of Holmes. And like, I, I feel like I can't start anything or like even try to finish anything before I read that book. And then I feel really burned out from like the booktube games. And I just want a question of Holmes to get here so I can start reading it and then finish it and then like kind of feel like that's been lifted off my shoulders and then I can start the rest of my TBR. So yeah, um, it is getting here today, which is really nice. Um, so I don't have to wait for it, but I won't be home all day. So I kind of do have to wait for it. But anyway, um, I'm just excited for that and I just really want to read it so, so bad. That's like the only book I want to read right now. So... Hopefully it comes. So it's raining a little bit outside today and I got myself a cookie and I haven't eaten all day. So this is my first thing, but I'm also gonna go get my hair cut. And yeah, I also have my tote bag with me. So cute and I am ready to go. Where's the bathroom at Star Tours? Ask the cast member and I'll escort you to the bathroom so your little five-year-old can uh, do what they need to do. Okay, so I am currently starting a question of Holmes. My hair is starting to do some weird stuff. There we go. I sort of look now like a 70s rocker, which is kind of cool. <laughs> but I'm really excited to like straighten it so it's not so like bouncy. Because <laughs> I, I feel a little strange not quite like myself yet so once i straighten it and kind of style it the way that i like to style it it'll be a lot more normal but yeah this is just basically blow dried actually my hair doesn't usually take very well to blow drying so yeah anyway i really like my haircut so i'm gonna start this so good i'm already on page two or three and i've updated like 25 times it is so good like also, there's my new shirt that I got. It's really cute. I love that already Hamlet and Shakespeare and Ophelia are playing a huge role in this book. It's literally warming my little heart. <laughs> yes, I love this. I love it so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> love it. Also, I'm still like obsessed with my hair. I put it up in a little half up, half down do number so yeah uh, it's a little too flippy for my taste right now so it is wednesday morning and we're watching some disney vlogs i'll turn that down a little bit and we are also hanging out with chewy today he's sleepy and it's raining a little bit outside but i'm really enjoying watching some vlogs and hanging out with chewy before work so Chewy is gonna help me open up some of the packages that came in the mail. So I have two thrift book packages and I have a thread up package, which I've been waiting for for a few weeks. So I'm really excited. And I just wanna open these up right now and show you guys what's in them. I think I'll start with the thrift books and then we'll move on to thread up. And I think later I'll do a little try on for thread up if I end up liking what I got. So I'm super excited. Are you excited, Chewy? Yay! Okay, so I got, I think this is the first book in the Iron Fay series. This might be the third or fourth book, I want to say. So I got these two from Thrift Books. Chewy is licking the books, delicious. And those are my first ones. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to get back into the series. I read the first book back in high school and I read the second book back in high school as well. So this is a series I'm pretty familiar with, but I've always wanted to get back into them, but I didn't have any of the copies anymore. 
what's going on chewy and then these two were also in the other package and this is the iron queen by julie kagawa i think this is either the third or the fourth book still not quite sure but i'm super excited for it so yeah see i'm not sure i think this might be the third book but this cover is so pretty and like hot pink and i love it right chewy up okay well and then die for me is by amy plum and i had this book like put on my goodreads to read list and i never bought it and i think i put this on my list when i was like 17 so that was quite a long time ago and i never read it and it was like two bucks on thrift books so i'm really excited to try it out and you know i kind of want to go into some of like the really old ya books like i guess this isn't super old i mean that was back in like 2012 but i want to go back into this like era and see if there's any good hidden gems like it doesn't have to be like super well done i'm not gonna hold it to like a 2019 standard however i think that these will be fun books to read so that's what i got from thrift books i got four different books well, not different. Three of them are part of a series. And then I thought that I owned the second book because I was pretty sure I saw it somewhere in my house. But I guess I didn't. So I ordered that one with like, I think two or three other books. So that'll be fun to get as well. And now I'm going to move on to the thread up that I got. Okay, so here is what it looks like on the inside. I think this is just an invoice. And the packaging is so pretty. And also the colors are way prettier than I expected them to be. So I'm gonna open these up and this is what it says. Let's stick together. This is my first ever order from ThreadUp. So I think this is a letter that gets sent with the clothing. And I got a few really cute like button up shirts because I really wanna get into that style. So this is really nice. This is beautiful. Um, so yeah, I think they're all like in a 3X, I'm pretty sure and this is super pretty i wish i could show it to you guys like nicely um this is another one that i thought was super cute i love it oh my gosh i love the color of this shirt it is so pretty it's definitely gonna fit and i think this will look really cute with my high-waisted pants but yeah so i got this one i think in a 26 28 but i wanted it to be a little bit bigger so i think that this will work um it looks like it should be my right size but yeah, um, so I really wanted a shirt like this. Chewy just wants so much attention right now. I am just, whatever. But it's really, really cute. And I'm so excited to have this kind of shirt. I know it's kind of like nerdy, but I really love it. I think he wants to look out the window. I might put my chair over there so he can sit on it. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh, and it's so cute because like, it's a women's one, so it doesn't button up all the way. And I love it. I love the colors. Like, it looks so dull online, but I think it looks even better in person. So I'm really excited to do a little try on later for you guys. Chewy, Chewy, what are you doing? He's just excited. I think it's, he gets excited when the mail comes. Okay, so I got my stuff from ThreadUp, like I said. And I have all my jeans from uh, Target. And then this shirt is from Walmart. It's in the men's section. And yeah. So I also got my hair cut recently, as you guys know that. And this is the first time I actually like straightened my hair. And I think it looks really good. So I'm really excited. I have three shirts to try on, like I showed you guys earlier. And I am just super excited to try them on. So let's just do that right now. Okay, so this is the first shirt. And... It's a 3X, I think. Um, the only thing I don't like too much about it is the fact that it's a little tight. It's not tight around the boobs. It's like fine. It's just that the buttons are in such a bad place. So this just kind of like opens up. So I, I think that should be an easy fix. Like it shouldn't be too difficult. I should just like, I'll probably like Google it or something, like look up how to fix that. But otherwise, I really like it. I think it's really cute and flattering. And I'd either wear it like this tucked into the front or this is what it looks like not tucked in. So that's also really cute, but I'd probably only do that if I was wearing either leggings or actual like skinny jeans or 
I can always just tie it up, which is also really cute. So that's what it looks like tied up, which I think is adorable. And yeah, I really like the sleeves on this because they're three quarter length and I think that they'll be nice in the spring and the summer. So as long as I can figure out how to fix this right here, I should be fine. If not, then I'll probably send it back, but I really, really like it. And I love the stripes and the color. The color is actually kind of like a grayish blue. Um, so I don't know what color it's turning up on the screen, but yeah, it's like kind of a grayish blue color. Okay, so here's the second shirt. It's also kind of having the same sort of problem. Like it totally fits fine. It's just around the boobs. I have kind of big boobs, so that's not like surprising to me. But yeah, I really need to figure out how I can fix this in some sort of way. I think these both of these shirts I could totally if I wanted to leave them buttoned up and maybe sew together this part and then you know I can have that but I really like this one um, tied up in the front I think that's really cute that's what it looks like in the back and I'm not sure if I love the sleeves or not I was thinking of actually cutting them off right here and kind of having them be a little bit looser because I'm not sure if I love the like kind of uh, these remind me of like Cinderella sleeves so I'm not sure if I love that or if I'll just cut them off I think that might be really cute as well so let me know if you think I should cut them um, but yeah I, I still have to figure out how to keep that closed because it looks way better when it's closed and I feel like I just need to like wear this in a little bit so you know the neck won't be so uptight because yeah I really like this um I love the colors and I love the stripes I think that these look really cute so yeah just let me know if you think I should cut the sleeves off because I'm not a huge fan of the sleeves so yeah really liking this one as well so here is the second shirt this is probably my favorite one and I think the one that fits the best because there's no pulling at the boobs which is so nice and I actually love this shirt on. I think it's so cute. It kind of makes me look like a Jungle Cruise skipper. I think that's really cute. I think this would be such a cute outfit to wear to Disneyland for some reason. It's just so comfortable. And I really like the colors. I like the fit of it. I think it's really adorable. And yeah, I'm just really, I love this shirt. It's so cute. And I've been really wanting kind of like this printed kind of shirt i really like the pattern on it and i love the colors i was every time i see these like out in the wild <laughs> i always see them in like really really bright colors and i did not want bright colors so because i'm not a bright colors kind of person so yeah this is definitely my favorite one out of all of them and i love the sleeves i love the fit i think you could also probably tuck this in and it'd be really cute like that be super adorable. I wish the buttons weren't at like a spot. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice. I don't know. I just, I really like this shirt a lot. I think it's super cute. It's definitely a shirt I could see myself wearing a lot, especially in the summer and spring. So see, it would be a really cute like Disneyland outfit. It'd be so adorable. And yes, oh, this is so cute. Now it makes me really, really want to go to Disneyland because I would totally wear this to probably like Disneyland and it'd be so cute and I just love it and I love it with my high-waisted high pants I think it's really cute and I just think that I don't know I just really love it and I've been wanting to kind of rock this style for a little while because I really like it on other people so I'm like why not try it out on yourself and I think it looks really cute so yes I'm really pretty pleased with my first thread up order. I think this is definitely my favorite one. Like I said, definitely my favorite shirt, but I really do like the other ones. They just need to be fixed in the middle for, you know, the boob area. It just wasn't working out for some reason. Right